what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here so once again i did not intend to actually think there would be an opportunity to do a third <laughs> scream 7 video here today but the hollywood reporter and several other outlets deadline uh some other outlets that are more reputable and credible and obviously been doing this a lot longer than someone like little old me have come out and doubled down on what i have already stated in my video from sunday we have now know that Mason, Melissa, the survivors are expected to return according to these outlets. Uh, we know that Christopher Landon once again is attached to direct. And like I also stated on Sunday, if Radio Silence is not going to be directing, you guys can expect them to stay on as producers. All of that was com was confirmed today. I had no idea that on Sunday when I put out that video that all of these rumors would end up becoming a reality in the week. But kind of feels good only because I have so many people who constantly come my way saying that, oh, well, he's just making stuff up. There's a lot of stuff I know you guys ask me. Those of you who like to DM me, you sometimes ask me things and I'll flat out tell you if I don't know. I legitimately don't know everything and I'm not going to act like I do. The problem is when you say you do know something, a lot of people, they just want to try to undermine you or take it away from you or discredit you. But you know what? This is a good day for me. Good day for craving something scary. Good day for a lot of people who already know that when I like to talk about things, it's usually because I trust it and because there's probably some truth to it. But Hollywood Reporter, again, put out an article saying that Spyglass is answering the call once more, throwing a new Scream horror movie into development. The company has tapped Christopher Landon, a scary movie stalwart whose credits include Happy Death Day movies as well as body-switching horror comedy Freaky to direct the seventh installment of the long-running franchise. Multiple sources tell The Hollywood Reporter. Landon takes over from Matt Benelli, Opal, and Tyler Gillette, the filmmaking team known as Radio Silence, who helmed the Scream 5 and Scream 6 entry that we just got. So, Bettinelli opening Galette stepped back in part to focus on an original horror movie for Universal, which currently remains impacted by the actor strike. The duo, as well as third group member Chad Valella, will now act as executive producers for Scream 7. I will also say this, because this isn't in this, Kevin Williamson, he seems to have been bumped up according to Production Weekly. He's been bumped up to a producer for Scream 7 instead of just as simply an executive producer. And shout out to UK for letting us know that information. Now... In terms of the cast, this article also goes on to say that the series, the last two entries, introduce a fresher face, a fresher faced cast to the bloody proceedings. Among them, Jenna Ortega, Melissa Barrera and Mason Gooding. Sources say that the actors do not have deals for a new installment, but are expected to return once the dual writer and actor strikes are settled. Ortega's deal will be one to watch as the actress signed on to the franchise before she was catapulted to a list thanks to Netflix's Wednesday. Also unclear is who will be writing. James Vanderbilt and Guy Busick wrote the scripts for the two recent screen movies. However, Landon is also an established screenwriter. Now, I will comment on that last bit before I circle back to the actors. It's unclear who will be writing Scream 7 according to The Hollywood Reporter. I can tell you that I'm on good authority, I know that it is Guy and James. Guy and James are who wrote the story. Uh, Viewer Non touched on this earlier this year. Didn't really, didn't really name them, but I flat out had it told to me that it would be them. And then, of course, like I stated, that everyone that I referenced on Sunday being back besides Radio Silence, that included the writers, Guy and James, Hayden Pantier, Melissa Barrera, uh, Jasmine Brown, Jenna Ortega, Mason Gooding, Courtney Cox, all of the core, core four survivors and the other stars who survived, Josh Cigar included in that. They are expected to be back for Scream 7, and the Hollywood Reporter is showing inklings of those rumors coming to life. So Hayden Panettiere and Kirby Reed, how they are going to factor her into the story, if that part ends up being true as well, that's again something I'm very excited for. And I do want to address this. I saw somebody tweet out that... Mike or Michael Kennedy could be co-writing with Chris Landon. That's not what the tweet necessarily said as much as it did say they hope for that to happen. Mike, F Michael Kennedy and Chris Landon, to my knowledge, and if I'm wrong, I'm just wrong. Taking an L, don't have a problem with it. Michael Kennedy and Chris Landon, they are not pinning the script for Scream 7. If they have any involvement with the pinning process, it won't take away from the majority of the work that is coming from Guy and James, who are still the primary writers. But again, you guys can let me know what you think about all this down in the comment section below. Still, there was no report 
on Nev Campbell, of course. As much as people want her to be back, I get it, I get it, I get it. Nev Campbell is not someone who I see just willingly agreeing to do a screen project for money. I think a lot of people, what they have to keep in mind is this. Maybe in the past she's done one for money. The only one I can really think of she might have done for money would be Scream 3, if anything. All the other ones seem like she genuinely just wanted to do them. After being, of course, talked into it. Nev just seems to, to me to come from a place of the same mentality that I have when it comes to Sidney Prescott that I don't really get to see too much from other fans. I know a lot of you exist, but a lot of fans also just do not have the same mentality about Sidney the way other, others of us do. Nev seems very protective of how Sydney is treated, so I do not think that if you pitch to her, oh, hey, we'll give you $10 million to pop up for two minutes, I don't think she'd say yes. Not that fast, anyway. I think it would take some extreme convincing for her to do that because I could see Nev Campbell turning down $10 million simply because the role you have written for her, it doesn't live up to what she thinks is appropriate for Sydney. Similar to how a lot of fans like myself, we don't want Sydney just written in to be there. Give her a purpose, give her a meaning let her role exist to drive the narrative forward don't just have her there as a crutch i can easily see nev campbell turning down screen seven if the inclusion of sydney isn't to her liking so that does not mean that they didn't want her back it just means that their values didn't align when it came to how sydney was written it's not all down to money with that woman i'm certain it isn't before i get out of here i do want to actually point out that viewer non put out an interesting tweet about the release of screen seven Put out a tweet saying since there's big scream 7 news today i heard pre-strike paramount wanted it out by october 2024 we'll see where it ends up pending strike resolution and jenna ortega's schedule but i'd be surprised if it releases later than january 2025 so paramount allegedly wanted the film out by october 2024 we'll have to just wait and see if they're still able to hit that date but if anything it'll be out around winter 2025 at the latest let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications and there is a video in the description. I'll have links on my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.